Hi, my name is Lisa Sarkin. I am the Detection and Liquid Handling Product and Application Specialist at Millennium Science. Thank you for watching part three of our video series on TRF assays. In this video, we will focus on homogenous TRF assays. So a quick refresh, homogeneous assays are non-wash TRF assays, also known as mix and measure. In this context here, the partner is an antibody conjugated to a fluorescent acceptor. So you have a lanthanide donor and a fluorescent acceptor. The lanthanide donor docks on to the partner antibody. You then excite the lanthanide, you get an entity transfer, and then detect the emission at a further redshift wavelength. In a homogeneous assay, you excite at 340 and read at 615 and 685 because it is a ratiometric assay. So you need to determine the portion of signal that comes from the bound moiety as opposed to unbound moiety. There are many applications of homogeneous TRF assays, including protein-protein interactions, detecting secreted markers like cytokines, chemokines, growth factors, etc. Protein modification, protein cleavage, gene protein coupled receptor activation, second messenger detection, and protein DNA interactions. Once again, we have an animation, this time for a homogeneous TRF assay in a microblade. In this example, we have a biotinylated protein, we have a kinase come through and phosphorylate the protein of drip. Once phosphorylated, we add our various donor and acceptor, our lanthanide and our labeled antibody. The biotinylated phosphorylated protein docks on to the lanthanide donor. The antibody then docks on to the protein. You add your light source and a transfer of energy ensues and you read this emission of energy. Here we demonstrate the combination of a homogeneous time resolved fluorescence energy transfer TR FRET assay with an automated instrumentation and high throughput screening multimode microplate reader that monitors BRD4 activity. An agonist EGF titration experiment was completed to ensure we are seeing the correct response from the agonist in the automated assay. A total of 500 compounds from plates 1 to 6 of the screen well product library were screened in triplicate. The known inhibitor, the majority of compounds tested showed little to no inhibition and some showed low inhibition levels of 20 to 30 percent. One compound showed greater than 30 percent inhibition which may warrant further investigation in dose response formats. The advantages of homogeneous TRF assays are similar to those of heterogeneous these assays have a similar sensitivity to Delphia assays, but there is one disadvantage to this technology, which is that you cannot multiplex. Homogeneous TRF is designed to detect one particular target. If we have to set up for four emission profiles, then you're going to run into a mess and that is going to compromise your ability to detect the labels. Here you can see a comparison between the TRF assay platforms. Generally speaking, heterogeneous will be more sensitive. Why? Because there are integrated wash steps in the assay design, which removes any unbound material, which can be interfering factors, as sometimes sample components within the assay interfere with the ability of the antibody to bind to the target detect or might even quench some signal. On the other hand, homogeneous assays are simple and easy to automate as they are mix and measure assays, meaning that they have less steps involved. Thank you for watching part three of our three part video series on TRF assay technology. If you have a question, please send me an email 
And if you are interested in any of the products that Millennium Science, Joma Life Research or Biotech are part of Agilent provide, please refer to the websites listed here. Once again, thank you for watching these videos on TRF Assay Chemistry.